So, what is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team Sam Rex one here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with a Blue Eyes Link Rebo deck profile for you guys today. And let me tell you guys right now, this deck has to be one of the funnest decks that I've actually been working on. This deck is absolutely insane, and the reason why this deck is actually viable is because of the release of a Link Rebo right here. Link Rebo makes this deck absolutely broken. The amount of combos you're able to do with this deck is just absolutely insane. You're able to make like Firewall Dragon Baguska, which is opening up like two cards, and I'll explain to you guys all the combos and everything once I progress uh, through the end of the video, so make sure you guys stay till the end. Of course, guys, as I progress to the deck profile, I'll be explaining to you guys all my card choices and the reason why I play them. This is going to be a different version of Blue Eyes. It's gonna not going to be like the standard norm of Blue Eyes like I showcased you guys before. This deck is a completely different deck than the regular Blue Eyes. It's a Link-based Blue Eyes deck. Blue Eyes engine is actually very powerful in this deck because you're able to help bring out monsters like Firewall Dragon and also cards like Ib and Baguska. By the way, guys, if you guys want to see more deck profiles, make sure you guys smash! that a thousand plus likes, all right guys? I usually aim 500, but since we're growing, all right? A thousand should be nothing. All right guys, smash that thousand plus like button for more deck profiles. If you guys want to help support the channel, I have a Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon and a Sage Playmat available. So if you guys want to help support me and what I do, make sure you guys get your Playmat today. I do free shipping to Canada, USA. International shipping may cost extra. And I'll leave a link to my Facebook page in the description box below. And all you guys got to do is message me on my Facebook page to get details on the mat. So if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get your Sage Playmat today. If you guys want to get all these cards in the deck profile, make sure you guys check out dollies.ca. I'll leave a link to in the description box below. They sell all these cards on the website and all the prices are in Canadian. So if you guys convert those Canadian prices to USD, it's going to be the cheapest on the market. And if you guys use my coupon code, you guys will get 5% off. So make sure you guys check the link in the description box below. That'll be absolutely amazing to get your decks today. I'll start with the monster real quick. going to play, of course, Triple Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Uh, this card is actually very standard to play. It's a must-off. Next off, you're going to play, of course, Triple Blue Eyes White Dragon. Very standard to play in the Blue Eyes base deck. And it's in here because of alternative. And it's really important as well because you're trying to bring up Blue Eyes as quickly as possible. And the way you get access to Blue Eyes is off cards with the White Stone Legend. And also dumping this card to the graveyard as quickly as possible so that way that your return of the dragon lords and also cards like silver's cry can always be live with your combo plays which i'll explain further throughout the deck profile so and last but not least for our blue eyed monsters we're gonna play of course uh double dragon spirit of white it's another blue eyes name which is really amazing and you can also pitch these cards to the graveyard off trade in and i believe this is the correct amount of numbers that you actually need to play in this specific version i actually tested out at three but i find that with the amount of cards you're actually sending to the graveyard and things like that i wouldn't recommend playing triple copies of dragon spirit of white but that's just me if you guys want to play three you guys can go ahead and play three and last but not least for the blue eyes aspect of the deck you're gonna play of course the one white stone legend to actually search your blue eyes directly from the deck to your hand if you dump this card out of dragon shrine this is all the blue eyes monster that you're gonna be playing in the deck you're playing no sage no the white stone ancients this is a purely combo heavy link based blue eyes deck and i'll explain to you guys all that combo once i progress through the video nice. all right guys so next off to the monsters and i believe that this monster makes this deck absolutely broken and i believe that this deck needs to be banned well not this deck but this monster needs to be banned is definitely triple level eater this card is absurd it's absolutely insane it's not fair at all and this is how the combo is going to work you basically get to eat blue eyes like eight times and you're just using level eater to actually spam out link monsters and since the release of link karibo this why uh, level eater is just so good so level eater in this deck is the main card in the deck you want to send this card to Grievar as quickly as possible so you open up level eater and alternative you basically have the combo and it's just absolutely insane on what you're able to do with this deck and I'll explain to you guys all the combos further on but level eater is definitely a must have in the deck you're trying to basically eat blue eyes until it becomes a level four and then you know since blue eyes become level four you usually have two level four blue eyes on the board and then you get access to number 41 baguska which is absolutely crazy you know to end off the board with a cards like baguska firewall dragon and an ib to protect your baguska uh, which is really awesome so level eater is absolutely broken and you want to see this card as quickly as possible so that's why you play triple armageddon knight all right guys you want to dump level eater to the graveyard as quickly as you can so that way you can, you can use level eater's effect to eat blue eyes so that way you can keep tutoring out uh link monsters and last but not least double mathematician mathematician isn't here because you want to dump level eater to the graveyard as quickly as possible so you're so you're essentially playing eight copies of level eater in the deck because these cards are essentially level eaters as well you're just trying to basically draw level eater or try to send level eater to the graveyard as quickly as you can and then last but not least uh, the one maxi because it's a god card and it's absolutely broken so the best spot in the deck, hands down, Triple Melody of the Awakening Dragons. You want to see Blue Eyes in your hand as quickly as possible, especially Alternative White Dragon. The more Blue Eyes you have in your hand with your combos, the more 
crazier the board is gonna get, okay? So you wanna basically search Blue Eyes directly from your deck to your hand as quickly as you can, and the way you can actually get access to Blue Eyes is off cards like Melody, and off cards like uh, the White Stone Legend, which is really good. And this is the card that you always wanna Ash if you're playing against this deck, okay? Ash does not hurt this deck at all. The only thing that you can Ash in this deck is either the Dragon Shrine or uh, or the Melody of the Awakening Dragons. You wanna basically kill the Melody as quickly as you can, so if you guys ever face this deck, always save the Ash for the Melody of the Awakening Dragons. And for your other search cards as well, you wanna play, of course, uh, Dragon Shrine. These cards are essentially search cards because you're dumping blue eyes to the graveyard uh, so that way you get cards like return of the dragon lords and also cards like silver's cry to trigger off which is really amazing so dragon shrine it's a search card because you're able to dump uh, white stone legends to the graveyard and then you get added blue eyes directly from the deck to your hand which is really amazing so dragon shrine and same thing as foolish burial to get access into you know level eater also blue eyes to the graveyard as quickly as you can is really amazing now to your revival spells you're going to play uh triple return of the dragon lords so that way that you can revive your blue eyes monster so that way your combo plays can extend even further and if you basically open up you know uh, the two card combo with cards like return of the dragon lords and also have another blue eyes in hand you can basically make a trigate board with baguska which is really insane so triple uh you know return of the dragon lords for our other revival cards you're to play double silver's cry silver's cry is really amazing as well uh you basically want to see these cards in your hand as quickly as possible so that way that yeah, you can basically spam more blue eyes on the board uh silver's cry is really nice and you can also revive back to dragon spirit of white to get rid of problematic back rolls uh, which is really amazing so silver's cry for a one of of uh, the revival spells you're gonna play the one silent doom and the one swing of memories uh, i actually was playing double silent doom before but they're essentially the same cards silent doom basically brings back the monster in defense position and sometimes i actually uh, find myself in a situation where i actually need to push more damage to my opponent so swing of memories can actually come in handy same they, say, they have the same effect to revive back uh, a monster from the graveyard which you're gonna be reviving back your blue eyes but swing of memories uh, revives it back into any position that you want but the only clause is that it dies during the end phase but it doesn't matter you're gonna be using that for xc summoning anyways and also be using it for or, uh, link plays or even just uh, overall just to push for damage so I like to play the one and one outside of doom and swing of memories you guys can go ahead and play double swing of memories or double silent doom it's all it's all up to personal preference on what you want to play and last but not least uh, you know for the broken card soul charge oh, you open up soul charge you win the game for draw powers you want to play triple trade in you know what I mean trading is absolutely broken uh, basically you know it's Pitch the blue eyes of the grave, draw two cards, activate cards like Silver's Cry, or any of your, you know, Monster Reborns to basically revive them back. So that way that you can stand your combo plays. And, uh, you know, Pot of Desires, you basically, like, you don't really care what you banish, okay? As long as you don't banish three blue eyes, which is going to be unlikely that you're actually ever going to banish three blue eyes uh, in the deck, okay? Because there's so many search cards in the deck, you're always going to be activating cards like Dragon Shrine, Foolish, and also Melody first anyways, and cards like Trade-In uh, before you activate Pot of Desires. Uh, Pot of Desires is actually one of the best cards in the game right now. It's a Pot of Greed, it draws two, and you basically just want to see the level eater and also the blue eyes in your hand as quickly as possible so that way that you can basically combo off with your plays and... Playing cards like Pot of Desires maximize your chance of actually opening up the combo first turn, and all you need for the combo is just two cards uh, in your deck, so... You know what I mean? Like, you're playing multiple goals, uh, of, you're playing triple copies of each and every single monster in the deck. You're not gonna banish three blue eyes. You're not gonna banish three alternative. Unless it's just, you're just really unlucky. But I actually never find myself on losing when I actually activate Pot of Desires. Each time I was over the Desires, I always filled the missing combo piece that I needed, uh, in my hand. So, Desires are absolutely broken. Last but not least, tutor out, uh, level eater is the, definitely the one for one. Sometimes you can actually tutor out the, the White Stone Legend directly from the deck, which is really cool as well. So a one for one to round off for a spell. So that's pretty much it for the spells. Guys, now off to the trap cards to actually combat against going second. You want to play triple, evenly matched. Uh, card is absolutely busted. I believe that this card needs to go to one. Uh, card's absolutely insane. You usually just want to go first to this deck, but having an insurance policy, you know, just in case your opponent makes you go second, uh, you can basically just already have an advantage with evenly matched in your main deck, which is absolutely amazing. So that way you, get, you can basically banish all the problematic cards on the board. And remember, guys, if you guys do not have evenly matched, okay, you guys can play any other cards to actually replace evenly matched. You guys can play ogres, you guys can play cards like Twin Twister, you guys can play another desires you guys would like. But these cards, like you know, expensive cards that like evenly match are just uh, really up to personal preference if you want to play them or not. But I just put it in here because I'm trying to make the best competitive version of this deck uh, as I can, so I can showcase you guys what I've, what I've been working on uh, to compete against today's meta. When I try to build decks, I always want to give you guys the best list to compete against today's meta. So playing cards that evenly match definitely helps you combat against today's meta game so triple even match in the main deck top combat and going second which is absolutely amazing now after our extra deck guys the reason why this deck is broken is triple link karibo card is absolutely insane it's in here because of level eater and uh looking at combos like this after you guys see the combo video you guys are gonna be like this is absolutely insane uh, level eater needs to be banned but triple link karibo is in here because of level eater 
triple proxy dragon. Uh, these cards are all in here for the combo. You, you need to play triple proxy. Double firewall dragon, your main boss monster of the deck usually that you're going to be ending off with, which is really cool. Double trigate wizard. Uh, trigate, you're usually ending off the board with just a trigate board with Baguska if you have the broken hand. But most of the time, you're going to be having cards like double firewall dragon, Ib, and a Baguska, and that's already like insane already. So a trigate. And then Grisu uh, to get rid of problematic monsters and Ib because Ib is absolutely broken. And last but not least, Baguska, the main level 4 monster you're going to be playing in the deck. And the reason why you play Baguska is because you're going to be eating Blue Eyes 8 times. Alright, guys, so 4 times on Blue Eyes and 4 times on the other, a total of like plus 8. And you make, uh, you know, once your 2 Blue Eyes are level 4, you make a Baguska and you just pass. You win the duel. Uh, I'll say, and of course, Titanic Galaxy. These cards are just in here, just in case you can actually you can actually make it. All right, guys. So basically, this is how your hand is going to be mostly like this is what you're trying to see in your opening hand as quickly as possible. You just want to get an alternative and also Armageddon Knight. Or if you open up Level Eater, you basically have the combo as well, and you can easily access a card directly from the deck off cards like Dragon Shrine and also Melody of the Awakening Dragons. So what you do with this combo is you normal summon Armageddon Knight, activate Armageddon Knight's effect to basically dump Level Eater to the graveyard. Special summon Alternative White Dragon directly from your hand. Now you're gonna activate Level Eater's effect to eat blue eyes all right so blue eyes uh is level eaten one and then you're gonna link summon you link summon into link rebo then you're gonna activate level eater to eat alternative again all right guys so it's two levels eaten right here and then you're gonna link summon again another link rebo right here now what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate level eater again to eat blue eyes alternative white dragon and its level is eaten by three all right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use these these four right here to make a firewall dragon now what's gonna happen is that you're gonna activate level eater one more time to basically eat alternative all right, uh, it's level four. You can't eat it uh, any more times. You're gonna link summon this card right here. All right, cool. Now Firewall is gonna trigger since you send level eater to the graveyard. Uh, while it was linked to it, you, you get special summon a monster from your hand and you're basically gonna special summon a blue eyes uh, from your hand. Activate level eater effect to eat blue eyes. This blue eyes, so this blue eyes is eaten by one. Link summon these two into a proxy dragon. If you do have another monster in your hand, you basically get a special summon that monster uh, well, you know, with Firewall Dragon. So the more monster you have in your hand, the more crazy combos you guys can actually do with this deck. Uh, okay, so level eaters eaten once. You're gonna activate level eaters again. Okay, to basically eat blue eyes by two. You're gonna link summon these two right here. Send these two cards to the graveyard. You're gonna be making a trigate. All right, so you make a trigate. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate level eater again to eat uh, blue eyes. Cool. By by four, link summon these two into a firewall. Now what you do is that you're, you're gonna activate one firewall dragon's effect. Add Armageddon directly. You're gonna add Armageddon Knight directly from your graveyard back into your hand. And this is by the way, if you only have these three cards in your hand and you have no other monsters, if you do have another monster, you basically can just go off and mark. But for the purpose sake, I only have three cards in my hand. I'm gonna activate firewall dragon since it's linked. I'm gonna add Armageddon Knight directly, uh, you know, from the graveyard back into my hand. Now what I do is I'm gonna activate level eater one more time to basically eat. The, the blue eyes white dragon by four and now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use these two send these two cards to the graveyard make an ib and now what's gonna happen is that firewall is gonna trigger since uh, level eater was linked to it and sent to the graveyard I'm gonna special armor get a knight directly uh, from my hand and I can dump another level eater if, if I really wanted to and then with this I'll overlay since it's level four I'll make a baguska and then I'll pass and then I also have a bounce back effect with one firewall dragon uh, to return something to the hand which is absolutely amazing uh, so that's pretty much it for the three card combo you end it off with a Baguska in and double fall, uh, firewall dragon which is absolutely insane uh, which is really really good open up more cards uh, in your hand and things like that you basically can go off even more you can make a trigate if you open up with like you know another monster in a return you can make the trigate board with the baguska it's so many things you can actually do if you open up soul charge you basically win the game and you can just make this board even crazier now uh, you guys basically just get the standard combo you're basically just trying to eat blue eyes with level eater so that way you can able to make boards like this which is insane now, remember guys the combo it can even go crazier if you open up cards like return and also another have more monster in your hand which is insane the more monsters you have in your hand, the more broken the boards can actually become. Alright guys, this is Sam from Team Sam, Sam Sanyang. Alright guys, peace!